Hi, my name is Andy Karen. Uh, I've been born and raised a Catholic all my whole life. Uh, I've always tried to remain close to Christ, especially through the Eucharist. Uh, during my youthful years, my marriage, uh, through raising children, and also through my work, I've always tried to bring Eucharist into my life is to bring closeness to Christ. For the, I've also uh, been a uh, parishioner here at St. Gabriel's for the last, for all since 1976. And for the last 10 to 15 years, I've been very blessed to be a Eucharistic minister to people that are in the last journeys of their life at hospice. And uh, I try to bring Jesus to them by bringing Eucharist to them, to their family, to their friends, and to the staff at hospice also, who are with them, those patients, 24-7. Uh, with bringing uh, some of the patients that I've dealt with have been daily Eucharistic people going to communion every day. Some patients have not received Christ in such a long time. And some are not able to receive Christ sacramentally. So we bring them a spiritual community, communion to them yeah, in their last days of life. Uh, we're very blessed to be able to do this to them and with their family members. And the family members, too, are very usually very gladful and grateful to receive Christ with the patients that they are with beside them. Uh, it, it, uh, and most everyone is just so appreciative of being Christ there with them. And with hospice, they try to bring the quality of life to people, both physically, mentally, and spiritually. And I've been very honored to be able to bring and be part of that to them. Hopefully, I'm not near the end of my journey of life, but when I do get there, I hope and pray that someone will be able to bring Christ to me so that I can continue my journey with him. And that's my whole story of being a Eucharistic minister for Hospice of the Western Reserve. Hi, I'm Judy Karen. Uh, for me, the Eucharist is my lifeline. Um, just as I need to nourish my physical body for a healthy life, I have realized that I need to do the same thing for my spiritual, my spiritual life and for my soul. Um, when I do receive Jesus several times during the week, I notice that I feel better mentally, um, emotionally, and this in turn also affects me physically. <laughs> and then when I meditate on what the Eucharist is all about, to me it is just mind-boggling that my God wants to come and be with me out of just pure love. And to me that is just an awesome, awesome thing. Um, when the pandemic hit and we were only able to uh, go to Mass online, there was such a loss and desolation for me that I could not receive the Eucharist uh, sacramentally, but just in a spiritual communion. But if COVID had any positive effects, for me, it made me realize how much I depended on the Eucharist and how much I needed and wanted to receive Jesus uh, again. As a Eucharistic minister, along with Andy, to the Catholic patients at Hospice House, I am so um, inspired by their, uh, many of their um, intense desire and joy to receive the Eucharist, that it really um, affects my faith and my love for the Eucharist anymore, uh, even more. They, after they receive, they are so f peace filled and full of joy. Uh, you can just see it on their faces and in, in the way they relax their bodies. They are also very grateful that the Eucharist is brought to them uh, in this particular way. 
So for me, my spiritual life and my inner peace and joy are very, very much dependent on receiving Jesus in the Eucharist. And I thank God for that wonderful gift.